And welcome back. Well, language tension resurfacing in the Montreal area where English words on street signs are being blacked out with spray paint. But as Mike Armstrong reports, it's not vandals behind the mischief. This time the cover-up was ordered by city officials in the once English bastion of the town of Mount Royal. It doesn't look good. It looks terrible. It looks some residents aren't crazy about the changes to the street signs in town of Mount Royal. In fact, some are having trouble believing them. You sure it's the, the, the town that did that? A crew from the town of Mount Royal has been spray painting street signs for a couple of weeks, covering words like street, avenue, or crescent, turning bilingual signs into unilingual French signs. Looks horrible. The town's mayor hates the spray can solution, but says she didn't have a choice. The signs didn't conform to the province's language laws. Now, a bilingual. I think it's petty. It's narrow-minded. We're wasting our time. We're wasting our energy. We're wasting money. The Office Québécoise de la langue française is the government body that enforces the language law. It's mission to protect and promote the French language. If TMR signs look like they've been defaced by vandals, the Office doesn't have a lot of sympathy. The town of Mount Royal isn't alone in its struggles with the language law. Several towns are in the same position. Here in Beaconsfield, they paid a $5,000 fine just last year, and they're still not complying. I think it's nonsense. Beacon what we did to our signs is probably symbolic very symbolic of the pettiness and the narrow-mindedness of what l'Office de la langue française is doing. In the town of Mount Royal, I'm Global National's Mike Armstrong reporting.